Lorraine Warren? Are you here? Women. Happy. You feel happy? You feel happy? A long lost chapter of the memoir of Thomas Edison has been found and published in France, and it contains details of the great inventor's plans to build a device to record voices of the dearly departed. Edison's original memoir is called Diary and Sundry Observations and was published in 1948, which was about 16 years after his death. Contained in the last chapter of the first edition of this book is a chapter called Spiritualism. This included a collection of essays in which Edison talks about his beliefs in the afterlife and a way to communicate with the dead. Edison states, I believe, rightly or wrongly, that life is indestructible. I am inclined to believe that our personality hereafter will be able to affect matter. If this reasoning be correct, then if we can evolve an instrument so delicate as to be affected, moved, or manipulated, whichever term you want to use, by our personality as it survives in the next life, such an instrument, when made available, ought to record something. I have been at work for some time building an apparatus to see if it is possible for personalities which have left this earth to communicate with us. So Edison worked on what has come to be called the telephone to the dead. During the last 10 years of his life, part of the work involved amplifying the sounds from his phonograph in hopes the background noise would contain spirit voices. As an insurance policy, he made a deal with Walter Dinwiddie that whoever died first would leave the other one messages on this machine. Edison imagined being able to record voices of other beings, to be made audible that which is inaudible. Unfortunately, he never finished his invention, but crank up your voice recorders, your PSB-7s, and whatever other technology you use for this work and listen closely. If you have not yet reached out to Mr. Edison, maybe it's time you do. Maybe Thomas Edison will leave you a message.